How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be watching the end of an auction on Cars and Bids. If you guys don't know, Cars and Bids is basically a new car auction site that Doug DeMuro launched. He's a popular car YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers. And so far on the site, there's probably been like five or six sobs and it's like two month existence that have already been auctioned. There's been a couple 92Xs, there's been a couple classic 900s. And now we have a six speed manual new generation 95 that has nine minutes left on the auction. So in a minute here, I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen with you guys so we can watch the end of this auction. This video is being filmed on Monday, August 10th. So if you're watching this on Wednesday when it gets uploaded and you wanted this car and you didn't know about it, sorry, I guess, but it's been posted all over Facebook groups the last week. I've been posting it on my story. Um, I do wanna say right now before we start though, the current bid is at 9,600. Not sure if I said that or not already. But I guessed right when I saw that this went live seven days ago, I'll put a screen grab, I put it on my story. I said, my guess is that this will go between 10 and 12K. So with that being said, I'm hoping it falls in that range just so I can kind of say, yes, I was right. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here and show you guys just, I guess, the overview of what this car is exactly. And uh, we can watch the end of this auction together and hopefully see some sort of bidding war. All right, so here we are on Cars and Bids. So 2011 Saab 95, as the title suggests, ultra rare six speed manual with Hirsch tune. So I guess just a quick rundown. I, I mean, there's a lot of details that are provided down here in this description box and everything um, from Doug DeMiro and his website. Um, but basically, this is a second generation 9.5 equipped with six speed manual transmission, front wheel drive, two liter four cylinder turbo, no accidents, a Hirsch tune, which if you're a Saab enthusiast, like you probably are watching this video, you'll know that Hirsch is a probably the top notch like Saab tuning company. Uh, I've never driven or had any Hirsch products on my car, but I've heard nothing but great things about them. They are very expensive as well. So Hirsch is always a good thing to have uh, with your Saab, especially when you're trying to sell it. So 260 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque. So it's not really modified physically at all. It looks like it's just got pretty much a stage one tune on it, according to uh, what I can tell from these power numbers, and it doesn't really say anything about modifications. But um, just a quick thing, the, ninth, the manual NG95 is something that even Doug said himself. He didn't even know that they offered a manual on the NG95. I think it says here somewhere the amount that were actually produced with a manual. There's some videos here now. I don't think we'll have time to watch this. We're down to six minutes now and the bid has now gone up to $9,726. Odd amount, but nonetheless. Um, we're not gonna have time to watch this video here, unfortunately. There's a nice 9.3 in the background. But um, I think there was only 150 NG95s produced with a manual transmission. All of them were four cylinders. The Aero, the V6 did not come with a manual, which would have been sick if it did. But nonetheless, it's an extremely rare car, to say the least, and this one is in very good condition. I'll just go ahead and go over some of the basics. Only 62,000 miles on it. It's a Pennsylvania car. Um, black interior, black exterior, clean title. It's from a dealer, it looks like. I don't know if this car has a reserve on it or not. I was trying to find that out. I didn't really see it anywhere in my uh, quick looking, so I don't know. My guess would be it doesn't have a reserve, but we're now down to about five minutes, but I was looking through the history. If you scroll down to the bottom here on their website, they have like all of their, uh, I guess, comments that you're making. It's almost like a Reddit page of sorts. And then of course you see your bid. So this bid came in a minute ago at 9,700. And I was looking through this right before I started to record, but there's like these three names, these last three bids are all from three different people. That's from a different person as well. That's from a different person. So it looks like there's like four or five people in the last hour at least that are at least monitoring this and it's not just a bidding war between two people that might ensue so hopefully this will make for a very very interesting uh final five minutes here so i guess we'll find out but i haven't really shown any pictures of the car yet i'm kind of, this is kind of a weird situation for me because i'm like literally filming against the clock right now so i'm trying to figure out like what do i want to show when do i want to show it when do we just want to watch the price I figure I could have also live streamed that, but that would go against my upload schedule because I only upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. But now I'm just talking to, for the sake of talking, let's look at some pictures of this car because it is extremely nice. Just looking through some pictures here. Uh, not much to say about these. I mean, it, it, other than it's an extremely nice condition. 
So panoramic sunroof, always nice. I mean, look at that paint. That paint is absolutely gorgeous. See if we can get to some interior shots of the car here. There's the Hirsch badge, pretty cool. Biopower, of course. There's the six-speed manual. I have driven a six-speed manual MG95 once, and it was only for about 10 minutes, but it's actually really fun. For how big that car is, it was, it was a lot of fun. Interior looks very nice. Uh, I, I always have loved the speedometer on these. How it kind of looks like an airplane, um, an autometer or whatever on the airplanes. Steering wheel as well has always been gorgeous on these cars, but interior you can see it's, uh, this isn't your average Craigslist Saab. This is obviously one that's been very well taken care of in very nice condition, which is very good. And of course, being on uh, cars and bids, you'd expect that, but uh, it looks like it doesn't have the navigation or many options, which, you know, that's okay. The buttons are not peeled at all, except for the menu button. But besides that, they're all nice. So that's also a pleasant surprise, I suppose. I remember reading a comment, someone said something like, wow, this is the first Saab I've seen that hasn't had peeling buttons. And I'm like, screw you, but at the same time, you're right. It all looks very nice. Um, I'll just keep kind of scrolling through the pictures here quickly. I've, I, I've noticed this the other day, the door panels on these are just, they're very strange looking, like the door panels themselves, like the design, I don't know. I just think they're strange looking, but nonetheless, um, it does have that really cool cargo, like U-shaped metal rack thing. There's the motor, of course. These are very similar. Um, it's pretty much an upgrade, upgraded version of the B207. Actually, not in that car. That car is the B284. But it's an upgraded version of the B207 that came in the um, most new generation 93s, as far as I'm aware. They're very similar engines. Um, this is pretty much just a better version of that. And yeah, looks like we got some miscellaneous pictures. But it's uh, kind of went through that really fast. Oh, but we're now down to under two minutes and we're up to 9,900. So 100 more bucks and we hit, uh, we hit my, my, my guess, I suppose. I mean, I'd love to see it go for more than 12K and I'd love to see some crazy bidding war ensue. But I guess we'll see. So for now, um, there's a short tidbit here on like modifications, just the Hirsch 2 known flaws. There's a scratch on the lower front bumper, rock chips, normal creases in the leather upholstery. Pretty much saying for what is a nine-year-old car, it's got nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, from 10 feet like this, it looks phenomenal. I think I can see that damage though, right here. Very, very minor, very minor. All right, one minute left and we have hit the 10,000 mark. So this is where it's gonna get really interesting because I believe every time you place a bid, it resets to one minute. So this is something that could go on for 45 more seconds, or this is something that could go on for another 30 minutes. So I guess we'll see. But time is ticking down here. Let's see who has the high bid currently. It is Mr. At Wars who just bid 10,000 and Healy bid 9,900. See, like there's just all these different names. Oop, there we go. 10 1. 10 1. Here we go. Imagine being this. I've always thought, like, imagine being the seller of this car and, like, just seeing 10 2. Imagine being the seller of this car and just seeing like the price just continue to go up and like not knowing like, am I gonna make more money on this or am I not gonna make more money? Like, how's this gonna turn out? But nonetheless, I know that this, whoever buys this car is going to appreciate it and take care of it, which is very nice because I mean, your average average Joe is not gonna buy this car. So uh, it's good to know that, it's safe to assume at least that this will probably go to a good home. But now we're up to 10.3. 10-4. I mean, it's literally going down like 5-10 seconds and then we're getting up another $100 bid. I just want to see someone bid like 15 grand just for the hell of it and see see if that ends the auction, but let's see. I'm going to actually put a story post. Ooh, 10 7, 5. Someone took more than a $100 jump right there. I'm going to post this on my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should because you would have already seen this, but... I am currently filming myself, filming a video of watching the end of this auction. So that's just gonna go on my story with no context. We're getting more and more comments I see coming in. Ooh, and we're up to 11 grand. There's about 20 seconds left on the clock when they reset that. <laughs> I need a sniper, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Healy with the strong arm. We've got at least two architects. Good comment, good comment. All right, now we're up to 11K. I'm just gonna keep it down here in the comments. 
suppose that's a little bit more interesting looking at the still photo of the car, see what people are commenting as this comes in. Down to 30 seconds now. I, I bet someone else is gonna throw another bit in there. I doubt it's gonna end right here. Yep, 11-1, Healy B and At Wars. Those are the two that are going at it right now. Let's see. Now that this is continuing to go up, I think my guess, oh, well, oh, Jake is jumping in on there too. That's 11-2 now. We got three guys going at it. I feel like I'm at Barrett Jackson right now moderating an, au moderating an auction, although I am much, much, uh, I, I cannot speak as fast as them, as you, you, you can probably guess. But let's see, three-way bidding war. This is getting spicy, guys. I'm legitimately excited. I wouldn't be surprised if this can even get upwards of like 15K or something. If these three guys really want this car, might even go for something like that. Healy B going up to 11.5. Man, these guys aren't messing around. They were just going $100 increments earlier, and Healy B twice has just been like, leave me alone. And he jumped up to 10.750, and then he jumped up to 11.5. Oh, and then, oh, we got a new one. We got a new one. We're up to 12. Oh my goodness. This is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. I, this is exactly what I was hoping would happen. So this is not a boring end to a video, but it's also a very long end to the video. So if you saw the end of this auction, because it's obviously going to be over by the time this video goes live, then hopefully this is at least entertaining to you. I mean, this is kind of really cool to watch live, and I'm sure it'll be equally as cool to kind of watch um, a couple days behind, I suppose. But now we're up to 12.5. Wow. 12.5. We are really... <laughs> people are just talking about snipers. I guess that's the term for people that are bidding at, at the last second. But there are a lot of people watching this auction right now. This is awesome. We're up to 12.6 now. 12.7 by Healy B. That time he didn't go. Oh, and in, pure pursuit, in Pursuit says, screw you, Healy. I'm going up another 100. And now we're at 12.8. And At Wars says, screw all of you, we're going up to 13. This is getting intense, fellas. We're up to 13 now. Realistically, I think that this right here is about a fair price, but with auctions, you never really know. I mean, I said 10 to 12K, because I, I personally, when I said that, I almost thought I lowballed it a little bit. And saying that now kind of sounds like a cop-out. But I really did, I really also at the same time would be like, oh yeah, this will go for 15K, and then it sells for like 8K, and I look like an idiot. So, who knows? We're at 13K now, At War still has the high bid. I'm just waiting for Healy B to drop in the nasty, like he's gonna drop a 13.5 or something. I already know it. I already know it. Come on, Healy, what do you got for us? There we go, 13.1 from Healy B. I expected more, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. So for perspective, when I first saw this car get posted, when I first posted it on my story, it was posted at like three grand, and people were spying the story and saying, three grand, you should buy that, that's so cheap. I'm like, it's an auction. That's why you saw in that second story that I posted at the beginning of the video, I said, it's an auction, people. That's not the price it's selling for. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, In Pursuit jumping up $200. We're up to 13.3 now. Fellas, this, this is the type of content that you should be subscribed for. If you're not subscribed, maybe I should do this for all the subs that get auctioned off. If I'm not working and I'm able to just sit here and monitor it, or maybe, maybe the next one, especially if it's on a Wednesday or Saturday, I'll live stream it. But this one happened to be on a Monday, and, well, I don't upload on Mondays, as I already said. Hopefully this is not boring for you guys. Hopefully my live commentary is, is enough. Please let me know, though, if, if you're not enjoying this video, because I probably won't do it again if you're not. But if you are, leave a thumbs up, and uh, please let me know down below. And let me know what you think of the car as well, because, I mean, now we're up to 13.5 by At Wars, but this is a gorgeous car. Throw some turbines on there, and uh, you're looking good recording. Wait, Doug's here. Doug's in the comments. Where's Doug at? Where's Doug? Hi, Doug. Where's Doug? Everyone's saying hi, Doug, but I don't see Doug. Doug DeMiro. Ooh. Someone's saying you should review it, and he's like, I will if it comes to SoCal. Hell yeah, we're up to 13.6 now. Alright, I'm gonna have to stop scrolling, because as you can probably see, my computer is really slowing down the last thing i want is for it to crash right now i would get in the comments and start saying some stuff but i don't have an account and i didn't think to make one before this so i'm kind of just sitting here uh being a fly on the wall so we've got healy b we've got it's war or at wars it's wars whatever we've got um the pursuit guy and i think we have someone else but we're up to 50 bits on this car 
Oh, we're down to, oh, seven, no, is someone gonna drop a last second bid? Where's it gonna go, 13-6? Oh, Al Wars, oh, the cart crusher. I agree with you. If a nine, I don't know if you guys saw that comment pop up there for a second, but he said if a 9-3 big end shows up, it's gonna be crazy. And I'd love to see like a low mileage, really clean, like unmolested, like lightning blue big end, like a three door up on here. Cause I know that would probably go for like 20K. But who knows? Or a nice low mileage manual Turbo X. I've seen some Turbo Xs with like 8,000 miles on them, and I'm like, what? Like, that's crazy. Like, if I bought a car, I'm, I'm gonna drive it, you know? Like, that thing has 187,000 miles on it. I bought it with 171. Actually, I think it has 188 now. We're down under 20, second, 20 seconds. Let's stay on topic. 13.8 from Healy B. I hope whoever wins this car is in Southern California so Doug can review it because I'd love to see that. I mean, he did a review. If you guys didn't see, uh, if you just search like Doug DeMiro Sop 95, it'll come up. But he did a review on a new generation Sop 95 probably a year or two ago. And quite frankly, he was very, very harsh on it. And I really didn't like the review. He pretty much reviewed a base model with zero options and a lot of the things he criticized, like it not having, were options that were available if you had gotten an arrow or at least some more options. So him reviewing like a complete base model new generation 9.5 was kind of sucky because he really made the car look kind of crappy, which sucked. But uh, yeah, that's just another uh, tidbit of information I have thought of while we're sitting here watching this. 13.9 though, In Pursuit has jumped back in with the high bid. We're up to 53 total bids now. There are a lot of people watching this live. I mean, these comments are flying in like crazy. I would try and scroll through them, but my computer's just gonna freak out again because I'm still screen recording. And Healy jumps it up to 14K. So the other sobs that went up for sale here, I don't quite remember what they went for off the top of my head. Like I said, I know there were two 92X arrows that were very clean. And I know there was at least one classic 900. And it was kind of weird to think of all the sobs that would be for sale on here, there's two 92Xs, like you would think, like a Turbo X or um, Vigans or um, 900s or 9000s, but two 92Xs, like that was a little weird. It'd be cool to see a 94X on here as well. But 14.2 now at war, so this is a three person bidding war. <laughs> they all want this car. I mean, at this point, I mean, like I said, I would think 15K would be about the most that this car is worth. That's my opinion, 15K would be the most. Um, if I were bidding on this, I probably wouldn't pay that much for it personally, because the more I drive it, like I would want to, the more I would lose value on it. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons why it's getting a good amount of attention to begin with. It's not only because it's a manual and it has a Hirsch tune, it's really nice, but also because it only has 66,000 miles. Healy B with 14.5, all these guys, they've got deep pockets, man. Saab owners do not generally have deep pockets, but these guys just, this is gonna be like a 20 minute video. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking like I've already had, that, that thing stops recording at 10 minutes and I've already had to restart it twice. So cutting out the little like spaces in between and stuff, this is gonna be over a 20 minute video already as is. We'll see how accurate I am with myself as I'm editing. I'll put a text box on the screen here to see how accurate I was. 14.5, we're under 15 seconds though. Come on, at Wars or in Pursuit, they're gonna drop a bid. They're gonna go up to 15 right here, I already know it, come on. Come on, come on, someone bid. Is that it? Did Healy win it? 14.5, Healy won it for 14.5. Well, there you have it, guys. This video has been <laughs> long enough, but congratulations to Healy B, whoever you are, if you're watching this video. Awesome. I mean, I'd love to drive your car if you ever want to do a video on it. Very, very clean 9.5, and I hope that uh, hope that he's happy with it. So with that being said, before this thing crashes, because my Mac is telling me it's using a significant amount of energy, and I fear that it's gonna crash, and then I'm screwed because it won't save this. With that being said, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this bidding one and would like to see another one, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you all next time.